helpful. Okay. So when it comes to like promotions that are, that are, that, that have, that are, that are time sensitive, that are time sensitive, right? right? When you come right. in here and you create a custom audience, you want to yeah. always make sure that you adjust the days. So for example, if I'm coming in here and creating a, creating a custom audience for a video, oh, yeah, 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 right? exactly. So, the days. Yep. Yeah. So I want people who viewed at least 25%. 5% of the video. Yep. Yep. If I go to, let's go to any of these pages. Let's see. Let's just say this one, for example. Mm -hmm. And if I go with this one and then, and then if that happens to be for the month of October, then mm -hmm. I better. And right now we're, we're at, we're at the 27th, you know, I'm going to just mm -hmm. probably go back 27 days. Anyone within the past 27 days who have yep. viewed that video, make sure mm -hmm they're in that audience. And then I would get, and then yep. I would be very specific with the audience name, you know, mm -hmm. um, 25%, 25%, um, 25% video views, video views, video mm -hmm. views. And I'm going to go and I'm going to go, um, 27 days, October. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so, so, yep. Then now I'm, and I would start this in the beginning of the month, right? I wouldn't start this at the end of the month. I would start at November 1st and then, right, and then just put out right. a new video, a new video, a new video, a new video, and just make sure yep. that these days are, are, are changed, you know? Yep. Yep. So, and then, and then also always exclude, you always want to exclude actually on videos, on videos, there's no, there's no exclude, but on the links when you're, when you're, yeah, there's no, there's no exclude on the, on the videos, but if you're doing if you're doing custom audiences on on the link on the on the landing page for example you always want to exclude those who landed on the thank you page right so right. that you do that you do that when you're at the ad set level no you're doing that you're doing that on on the the custom audience so for example like oh you you could do that in the custom audience i thought yeah. i thought you could only make that change in the ad set level no well well yeah you exclude it there but you want to create it first yeah 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 you create it first yeah. and then you 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 exclude it from over there but the way you oh, okay okay yeah but but over here right. for example like this one this is landing page views only so what right. i did is i i i there's the landing page there's the landing mm -hmm. page view but then i mm -hmm. exclude i exclude anyone who has who has landed on the um and that's not even the right one cuz i just changed the page let me let me make sure i i i update this i'm glad i'm looking at this right now so these are landing page views. These are people who have, and I'm, I'm going to exclude. Let's go to this one. Okay, so anyone, so this is, I got my squeeze page, my landing page, and then I got this page right here, okay? So that's that page right there is anyone who landed on the thank you page. So these are people who opted in. So right. people who opt in, they go to the, they go mm -hmm. to the landing page and, and then they opt in. They then land on the thank you page. I want to exclude the people who land on the thank you page because those are leads. This audience is landing page views only. Mm, so, I so, didn't know that you had that in Facebook. Holy shit. Yeah, bro. Like you don't want to create an like audience. You can of, exclude yeah, I you didn't know to. that. You could like, Yeah. Yeah. You have to like exclude that. the leads. Yeah. And and oh. then, and then title it very specific. These are landing because because when you think about it, look, if you technically think about it, look, there's multiple mm -hmm. there's multiple landing page viewers. So so right. when, we're, when we're thinking of a quote unquote landing page view, okay, a person that goes to your landing page but doesn't opt in, that's a landing page view. A person right. who goes to your landing page and opts in and then goes to your thank you page, technically, they're a landing page view as well. Yep. So yep. those are, however, those are two different types of people. So if I'm right. creating an audience of landing page views, I need to also make sure I exclude those who actually opted in. Right, right. And then I update because the audience. Takes yeah, because if they already opted in, there's no sense in in trying to target them again. Exactly. So now at the ad set level, now you exclude. Well, actually, no, you don't even got to exclude it because I already excluded it here. But but who you exclude? Right. Who you exclude is the leads. So for example, this right here. 
let me let me refresh this page real quick. The leads, look, that's anyone mm -hmm. who lands on. Can I edit more than one audience? Okay, so I, the, Facebook is still. Oh, actually, here we go. Look, look. So I come in here. This is leads. So this is anyone who landed on that page. That's right. all it is. Is leads. So there's right. no there's no need to exclude anyone here. This right. is one specific audience. These are people right. who landed on my thank you page. Those yep. are leads. So yeah. So yep. now when I go into ad sets and I go run that ad and I'm in the ad set level, I exclude mm. this list. Mm. I exclude this audience. Yep. Very specific. Yep. Makes sense. You know, so so yep. this is a whole new campaign that I that I'm gonna be rolling out soon. But yeah, I, I already set up a few audiences, but but yeah, website visitors. Um, this is something. This is um, yeah. I can get rid of this one because I already have. I already have it up here. This is website visitors only. So I delete the website visitors. Don't need that one. Okay. So so yeah, these custom audiences, man, super super important um, to segment. You know. Yep. Yep. I, I you recorded this right? Because I'm I'm I'm. Th yeah. This is this is. I'm gonna. I'm going to go back over this again because you're showing me some stuff that I didn't even know about. I didn't know you could, I know you could exclude people, but I didn't know you could exclude people who landed who's, who, from a landing page. I didn't know that. Yeah, like, bro. Like, yeah. Yeah, for sure. I've been studying um, Facebook mm -hmm. for the longest while now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, the, yeah. The, that's very important. The audiences. Um, yeah. Very, very important. So now when I go in yeah. and let's just say, let's say we go from the, from the top, and we come in and we just hit the green button. We, you know, we go and set up an ad. Now, yeah, at the ad set level, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just exclude. And then that's something you'll do from ad number two and on. The moment you start getting leads, yep. like let's just say you run ad number one and you capture some leads, and and so mm -hmm. now we're going to go on to ad number two, mm -hmm. and 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 now we're gonna we're gonna um we're gonna we're gonna you know start capturing more leads. It's really from ad number two and on where you'll mm -hmm. always always exclude. That exclude audience. people yeah 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 you'll always yeah. exclude that gotcha. audience that specific audience of leads you'll always exclude yeah. them and then you'll yeah. always include your your landing page view, view visitors You're right so right. so down here now on my on my on my custom audiences what i would do is i would just go to exclude and it's always the leads so it's always right. the leads that's its own audience i'm going to always exclude that audience right beautiful you know, beautiful. And then, and then always yep. include, always include landing page views only. Right. You know, so right. always include that in every ad from your like right. ad, ad number two and on. And really it's, it's when you're retargeting, like you'll run, you'll want to split test. This is all split testing when you're, when you're retargeting, when you're retargeting, when you're going out for a cold audience, you're always running conversions. And then when you're retargeting, it's traffic. Right. So, so oh, this, when you retarget, just traffic. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And this would be one. I, I thought it was vice versa. I thought it was traffic first for cold audience and then conversions for, 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 for warm audience. See, that's what some people say, but my, my mentor where I learned from, it's the, he does the, he does the other way around. So he rolls ah. out straight conversions from the beginning and then retargets mm. with traffic. So, mm. and I spent, I spent $5,000 to learn that from him. Oh so, shit! <laughs> so, yeah, so that's yeah. kind of the advice that I that I that I got. But but this and and this would be one ad set. So so one another thing you want to be doing multiple ad sets. You want to be running three to four yeah. ad sets, right? Yeah. And so this would be one ad set. I would just retarget. I would just retarget. Yep. You know, retarget and 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 leave it leave it as as is. Retarget your audiences, and yep. that's that's one ad set. You know. Yeah, or or that yep. can be one completely different ad because you're retargeting and you're running traffic, whereas the the other three ad sets could be new new audiences and you're running conversions. Mm. So so yeah. so this actually to tell you the truth, this wouldn't be one of four ad sets. This would be its own ad, like completely yeah. on its own because the objective is traffic on this one. The objective is not conversions. Yeah. Okay. And, and just test it, test it, test it, go back and forth, test each one, you know, run traffic first and then see if conversions is the second one you run, you know, but, but the advice I got was, was yeah, the other way around, but again, testing, testing. Um, yeah. <clears throat> and then I'm, 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 I'm in a, in a super advanced um, Facebook ad training 
from November 5th to the 9th. So I'll keep mm-hmm. you up to date with what I learned on that too. Oh, um, nice, bro. I, I, would yeah, really I joined appreciate this, that. this Facebook challenge that, that it, and it's with the, it's with a pretty, pretty, pretty freaking well-known guy. Like this guy's like crushes it. He's been crushing it for 20 years. Um, Who, online. Who's that? Frank Kern. Do you know Frank Kern? Yeah. I, I, yeah. I heard of Frank. Kern. Yeah. yeah. So I'm, I, I, I'm in one of his Facebook ad challenges. Um, which starts on the mm-hmm. fifth and he's just going to teach what he, how he runs his ad. That's all. That's all it is. It's not really a full course. It's just freaking yeah. over the shoulder watching him, how he runs his ads, like in real time, you know, type of thing. So yeah, nice, so I'm, I'm nice. expecting to learn some stuff from that, which I'll, I'll definitely share with you for sure. I, I guarantee you, I guarantee you that people like Frank Kern, because I, I'm, I have, I'm in the genius advantage, uh, Billy Jean. I, I'm a lifetime yep. member. Yeah, I just, yeah, I just, I just went hard and and decided I was just gonna bite my lip and and spend spend the the three k right. Yeah, I'm and, I'm right here. I and, got his I got his legacy bundle. Yeah, so yeah, he, yeah, yeah. He, he's really good too, man. Billy Jean crushing. Yeah, but I, back to what I was saying, the underlying with people like Frank Kern and what I've been noticing, people like Billy Jean, um, running ads on Facebook. Believe me, the successful people who run ads on Facebook are the people who do it from a psychological perspective and yeah. not just yep. running ads. You see, when you yep. know the different tools on Facebook and know what part of the human behavior it targets, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you can put those in the right place, bro, yep. you're golden. Yep. You're golden. Yep. Yep. And, and that, that's why, that's one huge reason why I truly believe that, that it's all about personal branding and, and putting yourself out there. That's why I'm recommending that the, 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 the T owner, I'm recommending that she yeah. puts herself out there on video because right. that connection, right. people are going to connect with her. Is everyone going to yeah. love her? No. Does she need everyone to love her? No. No. So it's like, dude, just the, I truly believe personal branding is everything because the small percentage of people that are actually going to like you is a lot. You know, it's a lot. Like, that's why, like, we're dealing with the internet. We're dealing with billions of people. So it's like, even when you're targeting a local area, you're still dealing with hundreds of thousands of people. It's like, if we had an extra, and that's why, that's why I tell people, my clients all the time. I'm like, dude, out of all this shit that I'm pitching you, all we need is one extra deal a month to justify all this shit. So it's Mm -hmm. like, stop thinking you need 15 deals a month from what I'm telling you. It's like, dude, if you got Mm -hmm. one damn deal a month, that's why with you with the tea business, I'm like, dude, you tell her, say, Hey, if everything I'm doing, if it just, if it just brought in an extra three, four, five people a day, would that change anything? Mm -hmm. Like it would. So we don't need 50 Mm -hmm. people a day coming through your door. If I just had a few people extra a day and I was doing it consistently and these few Mm -hmm. were bringing their friends. Mm-hmm. it just it, it it pays for itself like you're gonna want to pay yep. me a lot more money to keep doing this for you yep you know so yep. so yep. people need to get over the get over the fact that they need everyone to like them they don't like they don't that's that's why a lot of people are, are insecure with the camera and they're insecure with putting mm-hmm. themselves out there because they think they need everyone to like them they want everyone to like them it's like dude that's so that couldn't be further than yeah. the truth you yep. just need a small percentage to buy the buy what the hell you're saying you're not gonna sell everyone if you just exactly. saw freaking one percent of the people that were watching your shit, your business would change. That is true. That you know? is so true. Yeah. So that, that is true. That's why these so people that I, are selling courses, like even with Billy Jean selling three K, it's like, dude, he knows. Yeah, they're not not every not the whole market's not gonna like you, but but at the right. same time, it's like, dude, you're selling three K. So what if just two people a day bought? Exactly. Exactly. It's like shit. Starting out, what if one person a day bought? Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. instantly your life changes that someone buying 3000 a day and it's a digital mm-hmm. product or a coaching product. It's like, that's damn near full profit. How yep. would a life, how would a person's life change just by one extra customer a day? Let me tell you something, bro. Even though I may, I bite my lip and I, and I, um, send the three K believe me, I made that back in three of course, months. course, Right. Mm-hmm. I believe it. So man. I, so I, see the value and i and i did exactly what he said to do mm-hmm. and i made it back amazing I, I land one client one client that and that one client was was paying me 50 percent of what i spend on that course there it is there man so there it is so there. you know it it it, it 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 trust me it speaks mm-hmm. for itself mm-hmm. and 
you know, um, I, I'm oh before I before I I leave because I'm gonna have to pick up my son right now from school. Um, there is I'm running an ad because I have a cleaning business too. I have a commercial cleaning business, mm -hmm. so I just wanted your 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 um, input on it. So I'm planning to do uh, a, a a free. Uh, listen to this. It's a free disinfection and cleaning demo to to any medical facility mm. so it, it, dentists um uh, chiropractors clinics once you are you're a medical facility i'm doing a free demo clean and a free disinfection so it's mm -hmm. low mm -hmm. it's low fog disinfection system where you have this machine that you spray the disinfection it's, it's like a fog it comes mm -hmm. out like a fog right because it covers more it's more of a blanket approach than you know going around wiping down high touch areas it's more of a blanket approach where mm -hmm, it covers mm -hmm. more right so so what do you think about an offer like that would you do you think it have the pull needed to get people to opt in yes but it does come down to knowing who to target like that could be that that's that is what i automatically just see the 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 challenge the more challenging part is mm -hmm. the fact that who do you target? Like, do you target the, like, who do you target? You know, that's why, like I have, um, yeah, I spoke to another client similar, very similar. He's in healthcare and he's trying to find a way, he's trying to find his exact target market, you know, cause he has these doctor supplies and I'm like, shit, okay. That's, it's like, you got to target doctors obviously, but at the same time, it's like, it's a little bit more challenging. So in your case, it's like, who, as long as you know the target, who's, and let that's me tell why, you, let me, let me tell you a little secret. I got five demo cleans lined up. You know how? Hmm. Let me tell you who I target. I target dentists. I target pharmacists. Okay. Pharmacists. Okay. I target, but guess where, guess where the, the real magic happens? Because Earth. a lot of doctors are renting spaces, mm -hmm. right? You target property managers. The landlord. Yep. 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 Right? Yep. And that's where you start to see the clicks because property managers, mm -hmm. uh, building soup managers, yep. um, uh, 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 maintenance managers, you know, these are the people who are actually responsible for the building, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So that's where you start to see. And I'm just dropping that gem on you because, you know, you, you're my boy. But I would I tell it. everybody that because the thing is, a lot of people are failing on Facebook, not because their ad is not good, not because their copywriting is not engaging, but, but because their targeting is off. Tar right? Targeting is off and because most don't stay consistent. Right. And, 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 and that's why with, with ads, it's all about the consistency only because that Facebook pixel and these custom audiences need to build. And if right. you're not building the custom audiences and you're not retargeting, you're shooting yourself in the foot. Most people that give up true. way too soon. They'll run ads without creating custom audiences and without retargeting those custom audiences. Exactly. They give up, right? Exactly. They give up three feet before gold, you know, like exactly that, 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 that's a huge reason why too, you know? Um, yep. That, that's why I tell people all the time, like I look at the whole month, like don't look at just a couple weeks or don't look at a couple ads, like what's our budget for the full month. And now you as a mm -hmm. digital marketer, your job is to take that budget, whatever it is. And if you have to run multiple ads, that's what you're going to do. You know, yep. and, and that's what you tell the client. You say, Hey man, I'm, I'm here to run this shit. Like, let me do what I do. You do mm -hmm. what you do. But yes, I am going to be running multiple ads. I have to run multiple ads. That's what this budget is going to go towards split testing, testing different audiences, testing different video ads. Like that's my job is to see which one pops, you know? Exactly. So, you know, so yeah, it's, it, it's letting that person know, Hey, this is a long-term thing. That's why a lot of times when I'm talking about Kartra, I'm like to my clients, I'm like, dude, don't go and invest in the landing page software, whether it's Kartra or ClickFunnels or whatever the hell, don't go and invest in that. If you're not going to stay consistent with your Facebook ads, because that's where you're going to end up dropping the ball. You only need landing page software if you're really want, running traffic. If you're not running traffic, don't even pay for it. Like, don't even pay yeah. for landing page software. 
you know, because it's, yeah. it's, it's the consistency. You have to stay consistent. That's why this tea lady, right. I would make her commit. I would say, Hey man, I have all these ideas. I have all these plans I want to do for you. I want to blow your business up, but this is not a two week thing. It's not even a two month thing. I want you to commit six months. Now I'm not asking yeah. you to pay for six months up front, but I want the commitment. Like I want you in for yeah. the long run. I'm not going to show you some magic in three days. It might take us six. Exactly. Days. It might take exactly. us 60 because it's all about building the pixel. It's all about building the custom exactly. audiences. It's all about retargeting exactly. all those who are watching your video. There, it's, a longer, yep. it's a longer process. And that's the problem with most people. They want instant gratification. Exactly. They want to put up an ad and they want freaking leads by 5 p.m. It's like, dude, it doesn't exactly. always happen that way, especially when you're marketing to a cold audience and you're on your first ad. Right, right. It takes a while to build momentum. A lot yeah, of, and, and, mm -hmm. and, and it's, uh, the onus is on, uh, is on us as marketers to, to, to explain that, to let people know, that, you know, don't, don't give people false expectations, yep, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Let them know the reality that, they, you know, this, this is something that takes time. You know, the, the pixel takes time to warm up, to learn your audience. And then, you know, the next month or the next two months, what we do is look at all the data that the pixel has gathered and then we retarget these people and we take, you know, that month to indoctrinate them, bring mm -hmm, them in, mm -hmm, full, mm -hmm. you know, and then they become loyal followers and then they start to spread the word. And before you know it, you know, you, you, once your products or your services is, 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 is that good, then you don't have to worry. Let it, let it, let it roll, you know? It, it, and then, and then, and then the last selling point is you say, yeah, and, and, and before you know it, we have hundreds of emails and now all we're doing is running email campaigns and not even have to run Facebook ads anymore. Exactly. Because you've exactly. got 1200 emails of all people who live in your neighborhood and now we're just working that email list every week, Yeah. which, 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 which would reduce your Facebook ad cost. Right. Exactly. So it's like, you got to let them know, Hey, up front, this is what we're paying for. It's not, it's not just the coupon. It's also the lead. You know, that lead, that the fact that you're going to have an email list, that lead is gold. Like you're going to be able to get that per, you're paying for the Facebook ad once now. Yes. But once you have that lead, what I'm going to help you with is marketing consistently to that lead. And that's not going to cost you anything as far as Facebook costs. You know what I mean? Like that lead is, if we can build a relationship, that's a lead that you're going to have forever. Yep. You know, yeah. like every, every week we can throw them another promotion. Every month we can run another promotion to that email yeah. list. Exactly. Then, you know, it, it's all about the email list, man. That's what, that's what these small businesses don't have. They have not built up an email list of their previous customers. Yeah. That's why they always yeah. have to constantly hurt for business. And that's why they always have to constantly try to run advertisements for new business because they're not leveraging their old business because they never built it. Yeah. Email list. Exactly, which is so critical. And that's, and that's your job. So that's why Marcus true. is so valuable to our company because that's what yep. Marcus specializes in. Marcus exactly. is going to be able to do that for us. Yep, that you know? is so true, bro. Um, what, what, before we go, before I go, because I'm going to have to go in a few minutes. But I like your cleaning what idea, you, bro. I like the cleaning idea for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I kind of run it, ran it, um, ran it to a few people and they said, yeah, that sounds mm -hmm. good. It's, it, it sounds like something I, I could use, right? Mm -hmm. Especially medical facilities, especially people who are concerned about COVID and mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. it's perfect it, it, timing, it, man. To it, run it's some perfect time. timing, right? Yep. So for the, for the, for the tea lady, what are your thoughts on recovery? recurring like 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 what what sort of money you think we could charge her that's why everything that i've explained so far what, what, what are your what, thoughts on that and, and that's why like it, it it also depends on on where they're at you know what i mean as far as if she's just starting out or even if she's been in business forever like tea she has to sell a shitload of tea to to, to make up for even just your expense Right. Exactly. So it's like, Which I so, was, I was so, thinking, you know, so that's not exactly the type of business that you can go out there and spend you know, or charge thousands of dollars. You know what I mean? Right. Like, um, but for sure, for sure, I would, I would, I mean, that might be, that might be one of your smaller customers, but at the same time, it's something you, it, what I would do is I would start small with her and then, and then, and then, and then gradually go up. 
based on the production. So if we run ads right now, I'm going to start you. And I would, to tell you the truth, I would, I would start her low. I would start her super low. I'd start her. My retaining fee would be 500 a month plus the I'm cost of your ads. I'm charging her 300. Well, listen to this. Okay. Okay. That's I, 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 I'm, I'm charging, I'm charging her 800, right? Total 500 with ads for, and everything. Yeah. 500 for ad spend and 300 for my services. So the 500 would be, I'm, I would be okay. spending like 15, 15 bucks a day okay. on ads on Facebook, right? Okay. 15 bucks a day for mm -hmm. a month. That's like four fifty. Uh, four, yeah. Four fifty. All right. Four fifty. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, and then 300 for my services and yeah. how I would, how, how I explain or how I quantify my services is that I remember I'm setting up landing pages. I'm, I'm setting up your Facebook. I'm setting up your Instagram ads. Like I'm doing all of that. And I'm plus on top of that, I'm, 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 um, uh, watching these ads constantly to see where I can optimize to make your ads better. But, so and you're managing her email it. list. You're managing her email list. Exactly. So you got to throw that in there. So exactly. So eight hundred dollars retainer. That's what I was thinking. I, I I would well if you already told her that then you're you've already told her that. But I would have I would have said a yeah. thousand. I would have went five hundred five hundred. But but no, that's fine. That's fine. Start her there. And then and then okay. what I would do is every month, or or whenever the client wants really. But to tell you the truth, they're busy. You're busy. So maybe mm -hmm. maybe either. I mean, there's a few different options but you can do once a week you can do every two weeks or you can even do mm -hmm. once a month as far as a strategy call i maybe do it every mm. two weeks maybe every two weeks you yeah, schedule it in okay. with them a strategy call okay. where we jump on zoom and we review okay. the numbers okay okay yeah okay. not every week every week might be might not, might not be necessary maybe every two mm -hmm. weeks or once a month and, and that once yeah. a month is right before you're billing, right before I invoice you. So, uh, so, so before I invoice you, we have a scheduled call where we're going to jump mm -hmm. on Zoom and we're going to review these numbers to see if we, if we, if we should proceed. Okay. Sounds that, way, that way she doesn't feel committed or anything like that. But at the same time, yeah. I want your commitment. I need you commitment, yep. committed. Yep. I want you in for the long run. You know, like I want to really produce for you. So it's not going to happen overnight, but at the same time, I'm not going to hold you to a contract. But what I do want to do is set up at least a, a monthly strategy call where we, re, where, where we, re, we review these numbers every month yeah. to justify what we're spending in all of this. Right. Yeah. So, so, so and, the funnel would also, be, you let her know that, 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 that your, that your retainer goes up the more we produce. So, exactly. So exactly. Yeah, I'd start her at three hundred, and then and then I'd go up from there for sure. Yeah, yeah. So the so the the funnel looks like we run a Facebook ad, uh, whether it be birthday or whatever, mm -hmm. and then they they would click the learn more that would take them to a landing page to download the the coupon. Not, right. Well, the coupon wouldn't be on the landing page. Okay. The coupon, the coupon, well, it can be, it can be, but the reason why I don't put anything on a landing page is because that could be shared too. Okay. So, so it would be emailed to them then? Yes. Because anybody can put in a false email just to get to your landing page. And then it wasn't even a real email, you know? So, okay. So, so, so what would yeah. the funnel look like? You walk me through the funnel. Squeeze page. From Facebook. Squeeze funnel. page. Start, start, start from Facebook. Like you would do an actual, you know, funnelitic. Say well, you would to draw a blueprint of a funnel, right? So the so Facebook ads, where the traffic would be coming from, mm -hmm. to a landing page, to a email, or, or however you just just walk me through that. It, it would be yeah, it'd be the Facebook ad to a squeeze okay. page. Okay. Okay. To a squeeze page, and then once they opt in, they go to a thank okay. you page. Okay. And on the thank you page, I would highly recommend that she is on video. Okay. Hey guys, this is Stacy. Thank you so much for downloading your 25% off coupon. I just wanted to introduce okay. myself and let you know how fired up I am for you to be here. Okay. And, and, and that's a simple video. And here's four yeah. things. Here's four, four bullet points to give her for the video. Mm -hmm. And again, mm -hmm. this could be a short, short video. Here are four right. bullet points for the thank you video, but it goes squeeze mm -hmm. page to opt in to thank you page. Okay. Right. And then on that thank you page, it could be this video page right here. The four bullet okay. points. Number one, you're thanking them. Number right. two, you're introducing yourself. 
You and nice. the business, a simple introduction. Who are you? Nice. How long you've been in business? Why you're so excited to be in the city, right? Why you right. love helping the community? Why you love serving the community? It's a simple introduction right. of who you are and your business. Simple. Bullet point number right. two. Bullet mm -hmm. point number three is check your email. I just sent you nice. your special discount code. I just sent you an email. You're going to be able to download your PDF or just simply show it when you come in, right? That's number three, check your email. And then also check your email over the next few weeks because we, me and my team, we have a lot of promotional offers that we're going to be sending you and just educate you on what we do and how fired up we are to be in the city. Check your nice. emails. You're not, you're not going to want to miss one of them. So bullet Beautiful. point number three is check your email. And then, and then bullet yep. point number four, actually she's not taking appointments. So it's just three, it's just three bullet points, three bullet points. Okay. Um, okay. Thanking them, introducing herself and checking your emails. Just throw, because this is recorded. So just throw bullet point number four. That's fine. I'll, I'll, well, bullet I'll, point number four would be to click the button to schedule a call, but she's not. Ah, scheduling calls. Okay. So, so if okay, anything, yeah. it could be, it could be, it could be click. Yeah. I mean, she's not really scheduling calls, but if anything, mm -hmm. it could be, it could be click below for directions to our, to our, to our, to our, to our store. Like, okay. and, and, and then when they click the button, it takes them straight to Google maps. Beautiful. Okay. Okay. So right. and, and if you guys are new to the area, click the button below. It'll take you straight to our address where you can Google map it right now. And we'll see you in 10 minutes. You know, something like Beautiful. that. That could be bullet point. Yeah. Number four. Click the button. Okay. For directions to the, to the shop. All right. Beautiful. You know, okay, so but, but it, it's squeeze page. Thank you page. And, and that's it, bro. That's it. And, and that, okay. that coupon is emailed to them. Um, After they opt in, they get the, 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 the thank you page and then the email will be sent from a sequence. From a sequence. Exactly. So you'll have okay. a list set up, you'll have a form set up yep. and then, and then that email would instantly go out. That would be email number one in the sequence. Okay. Beautiful. All right. And that's Sweet. it. That's that simple. And, and, and if you focus on birthdays for the month, you could take that and run that every damn day of the year. Nice. You know, beautiful. All right, bro. So sounds awesome, man. Yeah, send bro, me the so, recording, bro. Like, I this is beautiful. Send yes, me the sir. Recording. I'll have it up. I'll have it up ASAP, and then I'll also email it to you once it's live. Okay. All right, bro. But hit me up anytime, brother. Hit me up anytime. I love masterminding with you, man. We always bounce great ideas off each other. So oh yeah, for real, bro. Like Let's I, I enjoy this. I really do. Thanks, man. Yes, sir, man. All right, bro. I'll talk to you soon. All right, brother. Take Later, it easy, brother. man. Thanks, man. All right, you too. Cool. Yeah. Later. Bye.